welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just going to be a quick clothing haul of what I'm going to be taking on my beach holiday this weekend with some of my girlfriends. I'm not gonna say in this video where exactly in Florida we're going, but you will find out very soon and um, I'm ready to show you what I'm taking. So the first thing I wanna say is when I'm packing clothes and pulling together looks for vacations, I always try to take into consideration like where we're going, what the weather is like, um, where we're staying, will the outfit that I'm wearing look out of place, and things like that. So because it technically is still winter time, I know that the weather is probably not going to be like high 80s, and I probably won't have a lot of opportunities to wear like a full like summer or like tropical vacation outfits just because that's just not where we're going. It's not going to be tropical where we go. So I tried to keep that in mind. Also, you may notice with my outfits, I'm not huge on trends. And so that's why there's not a lot of colors. I love neutrals. I love understated looks. And that's just the type of style that I go for. So. Um, I guess we can just start here and work our way down and I'll kind of explain my thought process when picking these outfits. So the first thing I have right here is a hat. I'm not much of a hat wearer at all ever, but I am going to bring them just because I have some and I would like to try to wear them if I can, if that's a good enough excuse. This one is from Closeteer. It's a store that my friend Hillary actually owns and um, she sent this hat to me like several months ago and I've just never had the opportunity to wear it. So I'm going to bring it with me, but I'm not 100% sure even what outfit it's going with. The next item is this bathing suit and I am so excited to wear this. This part looks very small, but I actually tried it on and it does fit and it's very cute. I'll insert a photo now. My favorite part is just this huge, ornate looking ruffle and it's actually like Jersey mesh material, the ruffle part, but the bathing suit is um, just like, you know, regular bathing suit material. I'm obsessed with this bathing suit. I just think it's classy and elegant and it's definitely a statement piece and a showstopper with this ruffle. So I'm very excited about that. If you guys have been watching my channel for about a year at this point, maybe a little bit less, you may have seen I wore this bathing suit when we went to Vegas. It's the only other time I've ever worn it. So I figured now is probably another good time to bring it out again. Um, I love like stripes and nautical looks. You can probably see that in a few of the other things I have here. The stripes are classy, but the neckline is like a little sexy. This would be a very revealing bathing suit, but I don't have a big chest at all. So it actually covers everything up. I love this little tie here. You can add a little bow or you can tie it to the back and I will probably just pair it with this cover up right here, which is also something that I took to Vegas. I'll insert a photo of both of these right now. And I just love this look. I love the stripes yet again. That's just my thing. And I'm excited to wear this. I'm just hoping that the weather holds up because right now it seems like it's going to be a little bit cold and um, that's never fun. The next cover up I wanna show you is something that I think I may have also shown in that haul. I take this cover up on every beach holiday that I go on. It's just one of my favorite ones. I love the snakeskin pattern and I just love the like bib jeweled necklace collar that it has. I think if you're someone like me who doesn't like to wear a lot of jewelry on the actual beach. It's one thing if you go to a pool, but on the actual beach, I have like a fear of losing my jewelry. I don't like to wear it. This kind of will help dress up the outfit that you're wearing. And I don't think I have any photos of me in this, so I'll definitely have to take one when I go down there, but it's definitely a fave. And then the last bit of cover up that I'm going to show are these pants. I actually got them off of Amazon. I do not love them, but I figured I would show them just in case any of you wanted to wear them. And they're just like a long pleated pant and I wanted to pair it with the black ruffle bathing suit. But the problem is, is the crotch hangs way too low and it looks it looks very silly when you're wearing it. I would love to find something a lot similar to these because I like the idea of them. I just don't like these actual pants. Anyway, let's move on to my dresses. And for sandals, I'm not going to be showing like any of my sandals in this haul just because I haven't really <laughs> gone through any of my sandals really as far as like the stuff I'm going to be wearing on the beach or to the pool. But they were probably sandals that you have seen before just because I always try to um, look for 
for like my summer sandal and my spring sandal when it's actually spring and summertime and since it's a little bit early in the year for that I didn't want to just jump the gun and buy something that I probably wouldn't wear later this year so this dress is a maxi dress I got it from Francesca's I've worn it one time and I figured this trip would be a great time to wear it I'm not a maxi dress girl so buying another maxi dress to wear to like a nice dinner it just didn't make sense for me so I figured I would use a maxi dress that I've only worn once and I love this lace detail that it has at the bottom I'll insert a photo right now I love that it's flowy and that it is a dinner dress so I can kind of eat what I want and then hide it in this dress I love the color and I don't wear a lot of colors and so I think this is like a good start for me the detail on it with the lace and even the neckline here is just gorgeous like I said I got this from Francesca's actually all of my dinner looks are from Francesca's it's one of my favorite stores and that leads me to this jumpsuit right here. I just love this. I'll insert a photo now. I think the color is called chartreuse. I just love it. I think on it looks so elegant and I'm going to pair it with some strappy black heels. It kind of cuts off just above the ankle so you'll be able to see the whole shoe and it is currently on the Francesca's website and I can link this below. I'll also link uh, as much of the stuff as I can. If I can't find links I'll try to find something similar or just tell you the store that I got everything from so you can kind of search it out. The next dress is also from Francesca's. It's this cute little like lacy embroidered outfit. I love that this is kind of like a peekaboo lace right here so you can kind of like see inside as well as down the front and then there's like this meshy area right here but it doesn't show anything. I love the flare out ruffle part here at the bottom. It's so cute and I'm going to pair it with these heels that I have because it matches one of the stripes in the dress right here and I just think that would be perfect. Francesca's has tons of dresses right now. If you have one near you definitely go in and check it out. I went this past weekend and I was just like oh my gosh there was just so many more options but I am really happy with what I have. So the very first thing I'll show you in the daytime looks is this romper it has that nautical stripe that I love it is navy and white and like I said it's a romper it also has pockets this is from Coco in Maine and one of my favorite things about this romper which I will insert a photo in now but you can wear it across your shoulders like this or you can wear it like this and I just love that it's a little bit versatile you can do whatever you want with it I think that if you paired this with heels you could wear it to dinner or you could do sandals and wear it during the daytime I've only worn it out one time and so I'm really excited to um, have a chance to wear it again and I think it's just really appropriate for where we're going. The next outfit I'm going to show you and I'll insert a photo right now so that you can kind of get an idea of what I'm going to show you. These both are from Target and this is a pair of striped shorts. Y'all know I love that nautical look and they are the universal thread line. They actually were only uh, $17 so you may want to try to get these if you can and they have tons of other colors as well I'll link that below this is a large because they didn't have any more mediums which is my typical size there but I tried it on and I actually loved the looseness of it it's kind of like breezy and because it has a drawstring I don't feel like they're going to fall down on me they have two pockets on the back and I just think that these are perfect beach shorts they're linen and very flowy perfect for like that beachy air and then I'm just going to pair it with this top it's like a long sleeve knit it's very lightweight um, and I probably just roll the sleeves up and tuck it in something really cute and easy and I paid $20 for this I think this is a perfect shirt that will take you from winter like it is now into spring and even in summertime especially like on a rainy day I will probably wear this the morning that we go to the day spa just so that I can be comfortable before we go I'm not really sure what the plans are after that but I know that I will look you know at least pulled together on my way there the next two outfits are kind of like I'm not sure which one I'm gonna wear while I'm there but I'm going to bring both just in case and that is this top this one is from the who what where line at Target 
and it was $25. I love this. This will take me into several other things this year, not just this trip, which you can probably guess from watching my haul. I did not buy anything with the idea of this is only for this trip. I like to think like longevity of my outfits because once the season's over, I tend to purge my closet. And so I knew that I would wanna try to be able to wear it um, a few times, you know, before the weather changed again. But this will definitely take me through the entire summer. It is a tank that buttons up the front with a collar on it. It's really cute and I'm going to pair it with these black shorts, the outfit all together, I'll put a picture up right now, is so cute. I think it's definitely appropriate for where we are going. And then I'm going to just put this black sweater around my shoulders just in case it gets cold because the weather is not promising us heat. I can just slip this sweater on if it gets a little bit too cold for me and I'm always cold so I will probably need this. This is a top that I picked up from Gap two days ago. I also bought a gray one. If you want to see what the gray one looks like just go back one video. It's just like a really soft knit and I got them at the Gap outlet so if you do have an outlet near you check that out because the original cost of this sweater is $44 and I think I only paid $14 which the quality of Gap but the cost of Target. So how can you beat that, you know? All right, so the next outfit actually also will go with these black shorts. I have not figured out which one I'm actually going to wear while I'm there. I do like to bring options. Just in case I'm not feeling one thing, I do have something else. So it is these shorts again, and this time I would pair it with this tank top that I got from Banana Republic. It was $44 on the tag, but I think I paid around 30, like low 30s for it. And I will just say this about me, I am not big on animal print. I'd like to reserve animal print for accessories. But for some reason this year, I'm like feeling like I'm going to try to branch out. And I think that this is a good place to start. Pairing it with these black shorts is really cute. And then over that, I would put this blazer that I picked up at H&M. This is a $50 blazer, but I love that it can go over just about anything. I love the slouchy details. I'm, like I said, the type of person who gets cold easily. And I know that in the summertime, if I have on like some blue jean shorts and like a white t-shirt, I can just put this on. I'll be warmer if like I'm indoors and it's cold because of the AC, but I also know that it will also pull together my look. It's very tailored and fitted to my body. I bought it in two sizes. I do have a green one, which um, you would have probably seen on my Instagram. I'll actually just put the picture in now but this one is a size four, the green one is a six, and I love how it looks tailored because I feel like a tailored look definitely makes your outfit look a little bit more elegant and expensive. I just like to look pulled together whenever I wear my clothes. And then the last couple things I'm just gonna quickly show you are things that I'm just gonna throw in my suitcase just in case it gets a little bit cold while we're there. And that is this Brett and Stripe sweater. It's from Gap. I've had it for about a year now. I love it. It's very cozy and I will probably just throw it on over anything if it gets really cold. Also, I'm going to bring a couple pairs of jeans just in case it's very, very cold, but I think we're gonna be okay. Oh, I'm also going to bring this hat to wear with my black bathing suit and if nothing else, just to get a photo because it's just too cute not to. Then I'm going to wear this when I travel. I'm just going to throw some leggings on with it and bring this um, and probably wear some like point toe flats with it once I get there just to kind of look put together because I know I'm driving unlike the other girls so I'm probably going to look super disheveled <laughs> once I get out of the car. It's a four hour drive for me so I'm going to try to pull it together. And then lastly is this long um, sweater that I will probably just wear um, around the hotel. I'm also bringing my robe and I'm not one to wear a robe like out in public so this will probably be just something I throw on if I needed to go like down the hall or down to the lobby really quickly and I can just put that on over anything. And finally, I just wanna quickly show you my accessories. Um, these shoes are going to be probably my most worn shoe while I'm there with my daytime looks because it just kind of goes with everything. I love these mules. I just got them at Target uh, about a week ago and I actually, it's so funny because I went to Target to go for one thing as we all know we all do and I was like, well, let me just go look in their 
clothing section and ended up buying like several things while I was there. But I mean, you just can't beat the prices and I feel like Target has really stepped it up lately. So um, here is a pair of shoes that I am bringing and I just love these so much. I believe these are called the Amber Mules and they have them in brown and this like beige color, but the beige color really spoke to me. So you'll be seeing a lot of these this summer for sure. And then the next pair are these strappy black heels, which I feel like everyone owns. You can get these literally anywhere. I already showed you this pair, but I will be uh, bringing these babies with me. And they make me really tall and they make my legs look really long. So I'm excited about these. And then the last shoes I'm bringing aren't for out in the open, but they are for the hotel and they are these adorable slippers. We all have a pair and I'm so excited to wear them. They're glittery and fluffy and super soft. And it's actually funny because we were talking earlier today, me and some of the girls that it's like, they're so soft that it's almost hard to walk in them, but I think like once we break them in, they're gonna be so cute. And we did all get these to go with a matching set of pajamas. So to go with the pink slippers, um, we are all going to be wearing this set of pajamas. It's a pink, um, like a blush pink color pajama set. It has this top here with a collar, a detail ruffle lace sleeve here, and then um, buttons up the front. And it has this really cute pair of pajama shorts with it. I love the cut on these and it has a drawstring with uh, like the lace detail on the leg. It's very, very cute. The pajama set is from Revolve and I believe they were $67 or something like that. Um, truth be told, that is like a little bit more than I like to spend on this type of pajama set, but we're all gonna have it. It's gonna make for a cute photo and a good memory and sometimes, you know, you just gotta do it. But yeah, that is pretty much my outfit. I'm really happy with the looks that I'm taking with me. I'm so excited to go on the trip with the other girls. We all have just done a haul for the trip, so make sure you go check out their videos. It is with Erin Williams, Tara Henderson, and Liza Adele. I'm so excited and um, yeah I'll link all of their videos below and make sure you check out our channels next week for the vlogs and thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see any more fashion videos or videos where I talk about like clothing and like my headspace when I'm like buying clothes just let me know in the comments. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Stop